click on file let's go down to project and over and down to set and let's make sure our project folder is set so click on exercise files and click on unit 10 all right let's go to file open scene and let's open up flower.mb okay so this looks like a really complex object to unwrap and then paint a texture for and uh, in a certain sense you could do a very advanced unwrap on this but what we're gonna do is we're going to do a simple unwrap and I'll try and explain while we're painting in Photoshop what I'm going for and so there's always many approaches you can take to um, a project and for this particular project we're gonna do a very simple texture and a very simple unwrap so we're gonna mainly be using planar mapping so if I click on the flower here and let's see I'm going to I just need to turn off my shelf tabs for a moment I need to click on this button right here for my two panel view and let's go to panels and then panel and then go to UV texture editor you can see here the UVs for this object are a mess you can't even make out what the object is so let's start let's just start with the front of the flower here so what I'm gonna do is I'll right click and go to face and I'm going to let's see I'm going to select just two faces on either side here and hit F to frame it and now I can kinda of tumble around the flower here so now I'm gonna select the faces that I want which are the faces going along the edge here so I've selected one face I'm going to hold down shift and double click on the face next to it and it's going to select all of them along that petal there. So I'm going to continue to do this. I just go along the outside edge here and I just select one face, hold down shift and double click on the face next to it. And I'm just trying to grab everything along the edge here. I'm holding down shift the entire time. So now what I'm going to do is I will grow the selection. So I can go to select and then I can go to grow selection region. And the shortcut keys for this. So if you look down at your keyboard, hold down the shift key and then tap the greater than symbol. It's the same as the period key on the keyboard. Okay. So I'm basically I'm going right to the edge. I'm going to where the dome area on this model starts or the center of the flower. Okay, so I just want you to see how far I went with the selection. So now I'm going to go and I just want to unwrap this or map this the UVs a little bit more accurately. So I'm going to go to create UVs, planar mapping, and then I'm going to go to the options box. I'm going to choose best plane and let's hit apply and see what happens there we go so that's recognizable I'm just gonna close this for now I'm going to move this up so I'm gonna click on the arrow for the Y and go up let's move this out of the way okay all right so on select so now I'm looking at the front of the flower and I want to select everything uh, in the center without the petals here so I'm gonna click on a face and then hold down shift double click on the face next to it and select that entire ring now I'll use shift and the greater than key on the keyboard to increase my selection okay so I've got just this dome area on the front and I'll go up to create UVs and go to planar mapping and I'll just move this to this region down here and now I'm gonna start on the back here okay so I've selected a new face and I'm going to hold down shift and double click on the face next to it now I've got the entire ring selected. Now hold down shift and then tap the greater than symbol to increase my selection. So 
So I'm going to go up to create UVs and then go to planar mapping and move this out of the way here. Oops, let's see. Okay, so I'll right click. I lost my selection there. I'm going to select part of this. Right click and go to select and then select shell. Move this out of the way. All right, I'm going to right click, go to face, and select the face on both ends over here. And then I'll hit shift, hold down shift, press the greater than symbol here, and go select all of these, and I'll select this face right here. So I'm basically selecting the both of the leaves. And I'll go to create UVs and then planar mapping. I did not like I do not like what planar mapping did right there. You can see here it looks very distorted and the projection here looks like it's off. So I'm going to press Z to undo and I'm going to do these one at a time. So I'm going to select all of this here. Select this face right here. I'll just do one leaf. So I go to create UVs and then planar mapping. Now, if I look at this planar map, it's right in line with the leaf, and it looks good over here in the UV texture editor. So I'm going to move this down to here. I'll do the same thing over here. I'm going to select the entire leaf on this side. Go to edit, uh, create UVs, and then planar. Bring this down here. Okay, so from here, I'm going to switch to my side view. So I'll hold down the space bar, click where it says Maya, and go to the side view. So from here, I'm going to tap the 4 key on the keyboard to go to wireframe. And now I'm going to select the entire stem, starting from the bottom and dragging all the way up to the top. And then over here, I'm going to unselect these leaves here. So I'll hold down the shift key. And then I'll click and drag to unselect these. So now over here you can see I've got just the stem. I'm, I'm going to hold down the space bar, click where it says Maya, and then go to the perspective view. I've got just the stem selected here. And so now I'm going to go to create UVs and I'm going to go to planar mapping and then over to the options box and this time I want to I don't want to choose best plane I want to choose the axis that I want to project along and that axis is the x-axis I want to go this way um, so make sure it's set to X and then I'll hit project you can see here I'm projecting along the x-axis and you can see here is the profile view of that stem. Now, you might be saying, you know, this is a cylinder. Shouldn't you use a cylindrical unwrap? Well, for a lot of cylindrical shapes, yes. But in this case, I'm going to have a very simple texture on here. And it's going to be a gradient texture going from the top here down to the bottom. It's going to wrap all the way around. So I'm not concerned with unwrapping this cylinder. I just need the profile of the UVs. So I'm going to slide this over to here. So now we should have everything unwrapped. And I'm just going to right click and go to UV and select the UVs here. And I just want to place these in kind of a square shape. Let's scale this down a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to move this out of the way. Move this over to here. So I'm going to select all of this stuff. Um, actually, the stem, we'll leave the stem alone for now. And I'm going to scale it down. So I'm selecting the, the, the petals, the front, back of the flower, and the leaves. I'll scale all of it down. I want to put it up in this 0 to 1 space for our UVs here.
Okay. 